Penny, and I have a fear of balloons. I don't like it when they It's called globophobia. A fear of balloons usually begins in childhood when somebody is frightened by their god-awful sense of timing. I hate the sound that they make when people rub their hands on them. However, my childhood was different. It's not the balloon itself. It's who it represents. <laughs> What's your name? Penny. Penny? Penny. I love your name. And I love you. Would you like a balloon? I just want to go home. I'll make you a deal, sweetheart. If you can answer three questions correctly, I'll let you go back to your birthday party. Deal? However, if you get three wrong, pop! <laughs> Question number one. Do you love me? No. Did my mother and father love me? Yes. Wrong! Do I deserve ice cream and cake just like all the other kids? Yes. <laughs> Are clowns funny? Are scary? They're... They're funny. They're the most frightening thing that can happen to a child. I'm so sorry, Penny. 
don't be. How are we gonna fix that? Today was a huge step for you. How have the exercises with the pictures been? They're fine, I guess. It's getting easier to look at. Did you know that Oprah has globophobia? No. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah. She's much older than me. What if it never goes away? I mean, there are some days where I can't get him out of my it head. It will, Penny. We will get there. The next step is to have the ability to surround yourself with them. You do this, you conquer your fear of him. Tomorrow's the anniversary. I deal with it every year. I know. Now's the time. I will do whatever it takes. Now, some new information on a story we've been following here at XP News, and it's very unsettling. Joining us in Greensboro, Winston-Salem, North Carolina, is Sheila Kelly. Sheila? Thanks, Jeff. Clown sightings are still at large as people celebrate the anniversary of serial killer Poppy the Clown. Later tonight, we will air the shocking documentary of how this famous killer came to be. A story of neglect, abandonment, and where it all started. A birthday party. of couples that came on adoption day. One year, the orphanage threw him a birthday party they would soon regret. Jessica, Adam, Philip, they all went home. Because of the lack of funding, they hired a clown. The clown frightened him after offering balloon after balloon after balloon. Victor used the knife that was supposed to cut his birthday cake to murder the clown and other children in the orphanage. Where are you, Victor? <laughs> Wait! Stop. That's enough, Penny. It's okay. I am so proud of you. You have officially worked past the hardest stage. You, you were so convincing. I honestly forgot that it was you. <laughs> I made sure I took the time to get him right. I've watched that documentary about a hundred times. Oh, you really faced your fear tonight. I never thought we would get here. I'm just so glad it's over. Dead. Now, you know, Penny, we have one more stage to complete to ensure you are cured of your phobia.
love your name and I love you. Would you like a balloon? Uh, no. No, thank you. But I mean one just for you. I just want to go home. I'll make you a deal, sweetheart. If you can answer three questions correctly, I'll let you go. Deal? Okay. Question number one. Do you love me? No. Did my mother and father love me? Yes. <laughs> Do I deserve cake and ice cream like the other children? Yes. Are, are clowns funny? Or scary and sorry? I can't do this, I don't understand. You have to, Penny. You have to understand him. You have to give him what he wants so you can let it go. Clowns are the most frightening thing that can happen to a child. Stop. That's it, Penny. That's it. You finally understand him. How many ungrateful children have I murdered? Hey, you've got it. Stop. It's okay. <laughs> you were supposed to be the ten! Penny! <laughs> Thank you.